All right. So my cardboard confessional today is that last night at about 11.30, after my family had all gone to bed, I am lying awake in bed. I reach over to my phone and I canceled my pledge for Castles of Burgundy by Awaken Realms. And I know this isn't too big of a deal. I think that the campaign will still be successful, even, even without my 142 euros. Um, and I'm not doing this video to talk about the evils of uh, crowdfunding or how bad the, the trend of deluxifying games is for the hobby or any of those things. I don't even pretend to be plugged in enough to understand the full ramifications. I just want to talk about how I got to that decision and kind of the revelation I had and the reason I just kind of immediately reached over and said, I'm, I'm backing out. So uh, I've talked before on this channel, other videos, how I can be a little bit impulsive and I can suffer like a lot of other people in the hobby from that, uh, that word FOMO, um, that idea of, uh Oh, what if I don't get this? It's a Kickstarter or a game found exclusive. And, uh, what, when I really stop and think about those things, um, I, I usually change my mind. And that's what happened yesterday. I came to the realization that I don't have to own Castles of Burgundy by Awakened Realms. And listening to that, you might say, yeah, of course, no one, I'm sure no one told you you did have to. But uh, the fact is, I was telling myself that I had to. Castles of Burgundy is my second favorite game of all time. I love it. Uh, I was going to look up how many times I've played it on BGA. Uh, it's too too many, I think I'm willing to say. Um, it is a classic, and I love it. Now, a lot of people find uh, the original Castles of Burgundy and even the, the 20th anniversary version to be kind of ugly and drab. And I agree. I definitely feel that way about it. Uh, it feels like a game that's hard to get to the table. I think that the simple use of dice and the the um, ability for, for combos and things like that would lend themselves to maybe not a beginner. There's a, enough going on that you wouldn't show this to a beginner, but definitely an, an intermediate player. And this could become someone's favorite game, but it just looks like a history book. And uh, I've always thought, like a lot of games, this one would be cool to get um, a little upgrade. And it certainly has gotten that. If you're not familiar with the current campaign on GameFound, Awaken Realms is Awaken Realmsing all over uh, this classic Euro. And it looks great. I'm not complaining about the aesthetic or, or any of those things. It has a hefty price tag, but of course it does. I think with what you're getting, uh, if you did the you know all-in sun drop pledge, I, I can't imagine that you would say it's too expensive. Um, but the thing about it is, I guess I came to the realization that I don't need to own that to prove that I love Castles of Burgundy. And who am I proving that to anyways? I don't need to own it to play Castles of Burgundy. In fact, because this is coming out, secondhand uh, market or you know secondary market uh, boxes will probably be cheaper. I don't need to do this for any reason other than I was afraid that I needed to or I, I felt compelled to. And I think that it's definitely okay to back this game, as if you care what I think, but it, it is, it's okay. And if someone loves this game and wants to have a huge box with a bunch of content and all the, the upgraded miniatures and acrylic uh, tiles, then they should. But you don't have to. And I think that that urge and that feeling in all walks of life, when I feel like I must uh, go get fast food right now or caffeine right now, when I feel like I must, I, I have to do something that I really don't have to, um, I personally, I want to snap myself out of that type of thinking and then make a decision based off of my values, in this case, what I'm going to do with 150 some dollars, which by the way is spend it all on other board games. So it's not like I'm doing some, you know, being better with my money. I'm the last person who's going to do that. But I think that I needed to snap out of that. I needed to um, take a step back from that compulsion. I Day one, I backed it. I backed it for the most possible. And I didn't really think twice about it. Um, and, and this is just one of those things in the hobby is they continue to add more, more 
content to your favorite games or more styles of game that you like or more games from your favorite designer or your favorite publisher. Um, you probably can't have all the games. And I think something that I've been guilty of too many times is just finding out about something, getting it immediately, and then when I haven't played it in long enough, selling it impulsively. Uh, I've, I've joked about buying the same game multiple times. Agricola, I think I've purchased three different times. And, you know, I'm, I'm hopeful that something like this can remind me that, like, Rodney, you've got a game collection. You have a gaming group that likes to play. You have other friends who own games. Take a step back from the collection aspect of this and just play some games. Have some fun. Go find the original copy of Castles of Burgundy and all its ugly little sheep and chickens and play the game. And I'm sure that when this, uh, when this Game Found campaign starts to fulfill and I see stuff on YouTube and BGG of people taking pictures of their gorgeous production, I'm sure there'll be a little bit of me that's kind of questioning this version of me right now. Uh, and maybe that's all this is, a little video diary to remind myself that, hey, in June of 2022, uh, you were feeling like this wasn't that necessary. And more than anything, you were feeling like you had just spent weeks in a haze of, I must. And then one day you realized, no, if I want to, I will. But there's nothing in this hobby I have to have. And that being said, I'm going to get off and uh, go look at the other games I'm going to feel like I must have with the money I would have spent on that. But that's all I got for today. My confessional, late last night, Castles of Burgundy. I got it out of my life. Then I played it this morning on BGA, and now I'm going to go look for it, uh, secondary market. So thanks, guys. Thanks.